Ooh, it's so hot. It's it's so it's so hot. It's so hot this morning. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We got a sizzler. We gotta we gotta put a fork in it. It's done. Sizzler of a video to talk about this morning. Holy moly! Hit that subscribe button uh, if you guys enjoy this content. Listen, I hopped on here real quick this morning uh, because there's a situation unfolding before our eyes that we need to talk about. I opened up my YouTube app this morning. Uh, a little background: I opened up my Twitter app, my X app, a couple days ago and saw a uh, a certain tweet from a certain pundit in the golf community by the name of Guy Sharnick. And uh, guys, it was wild. It was a bit of a shocking tweet, a bit of a just, you know, opinion out there, straightforward, to the point, live golf is trash. Boom. That was a tweet from Guy Sharner. All right, fine, sure. They've talked about it on the podcast many times that the like, guy isn't a huge fan of the live format. The live format, I think a lot of people agree, is just not the most enticing format of all time. It could be a bit of bias because of the history and the players that are in it and whatever versus the PGA Tour, but nevertheless, he puts out an opinion. Fine. This morning. I, and there was a little bit of, I should, I guess, give you a little story. There's a little discourse going back and forth. Uh, basically, he tweeted that, I'm sorry, but Live Golf is trash. Uh, Lee Westwood, who who's Live Golfer and also uh, been on Rick's channel a couple times, replies to that tweet saying, why is that guy? Very calm, cool, and collected. To which, Guy replies, honestly, I find it so difficult to get entertained by it. To me, it feels just meaningless. I put the team championships on last night and within minutes I was bored. It feels irrelevant who wins. That's just my thoughts and opinions. I'm sure the two players, it's amazing. Okay, it's, it's an opinion, right? He's giving an opinion. That's fine. That's valid. Me personally, I mean, I don't, I guess the relevancy to who wins is purely like subjective because like, I mean, there's more money on the line than a lot of PGA Tour events. So if that's a measure, then it would be more relevant. Uh, and then if that's not the measure, like, I don't know, pride in winning an event. I mean, that's, that's again, that's just, that's subjective. But anyway, whatever. We're not here to evaluate guys' tweets. That's just something he said. It's fine. He's giving his opinion. Uh, there's one more that wasn't actually talked about in the short game video we're going to talk about. Uh, and it was Guy's response to someone else saying, uh, Guy's arsehole shrank when he saw Lee Westwood reply, to which Guy said, couldn't be further from the truth. I'm happy that professional golfers obviously care about my opinion. And then, hot skillet. Lee Westwood replies, not really. It changes with the wind. Clickbait. Woo! 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 All right. So, I mean, obviously, tea spilling everywhere. It's just, and it's it's interesting. This is just like YouTube golf against YouTube golf. This is YouTube golf and then like a, a pro golfer, a live golfer. It's very interesting. All right. So, that's not even, that's not even the tea though. That is part of the tea, but that's not the whole steep bag. That's just one small cuppa, one small cuppa for all my British friends out there because we're talking about some UK based creators today. Cuppa, it's one small cuppa. Uh, there's another whole cuppa over here in my left hand that we haven't even begun to talk about today. And that was, I opened up my <laughs> YouTube app this morning to a video from Mr. Short Game, Mr. Short Game podcast, my boy, me and Matt Fisher, we're tight. I love that guy. Uh, he posted a video. Um, I'm just going to read it verbatim just so I don't mess up anything with the, uh, with, will Rick Shields fire Guy Charnick over a tweet with thumbnail guy fired question mark. Woo. I mean, woo. <laughs> I just, my whole, I, like you guys know, obviously this is, I, I commentate on the world of YouTube golf. So I mean, the, the guy tweet was almost enough to serve up on a silver platter. I was I was probably gonna wait to make a video because I figured maybe Guy would address that on a podcast with Rick. So I was probably gonna wait to like say something about it to that. But I mean, then this, I had I had a nice plate of poached eggs and then the, the side of just crispy bacon came in and I said, I can't wait any longer to eat this meal. I gotta eat this right now. Yeah, that was a big one. That was a sizzler. I texted him right after. I was like, holy moly, dude. Uh, yeah, we chatted <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I watched the whole 14 minute video. Listen, he made great points. He came at it from the angle of like basically comparing the Rick Shields enterprise to like it's a business and a business that makes money. And a big way that business makes money is through collaborative content with individuals like Lee Westwood, who he has collaborated with in the past. So if someone, some sub sub subsidiary of your team, your camp is to, you know, badmouth someone that you could potentially do business with, um, whether it's direct or indirect or unintentional or intentional, even if it's just taken that way, could that detract from your business opportunities, therefore hurting your business, therefore leading said business owner to fire said naysayer. It's a hot take. It's a hot, hot take, hot take. It's a hot take. Uh, all right. 
So my quick, and then I'm gonna get, cause I actually did message him uh, and I got responses that I'll share with you guys about how this is gonna be dealt with. But before I, before I disclose that, uh, just my quick personal take, I don't really think it's that big a deal. I don't know. Like just in the sense that like, you know, guy, they go on this podcast and they talk crap and they're trying to stir stuff up, right? And like, it's not, they're not necessarily trying to stir stuff up, I guess, but like their job, just like my job is to create attention and interest. And you're going to say stuff that gets people's interest that people maybe have opinions on that people maybe want to weigh in on. And you're going to say stuff, hopefully that's, I always try to do this. I very much believe guy and Rick and whatever try to do this. You, you say stuff that's true to yourself and true to like what you actually believe. And I think this is well documented that he believes that live golf just isn't interesting. He tweeted this, I guess, because the live golf championships was on on Saturday and he tried to put it on and he was bored. Like he said, that itself to me, isn't that bad. Like it's his job to give opinions that get people talking. That's literally like a massive part of his job. So, and you see it with like foreplay, like foreplay is a great example of like, especially historically, like you talk to any of those guys, they've said it on podcasts before, Riggs, all those like Frankie, Trent, they used to just fire at anyone and everyone to get as much clicks, as much attention, as much noise around them as possible. When you're building a channel or a podcast in their case, like that's that's a strategy. That's a, it's just a fire from the hip, boom, 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 boom. Just light off as many grenades as possible and just watch the fireworks come through and it creates hype and buzz. Now, years later, they've talked about how they've had to refine themselves a little bit because now they're getting opportunities to shoot with all these players. And thankfully, a lot of the players don't hold grudges from the past or just kind of like forgot about it. And so they're able to go out and film with these guys. But if they were to fire out super scathing remarks now, it could impact their ability to go out and film with them or at least the athlete's willingness to, to be part of it. So I think that whole scenario is what Matt Fisher, Mr. Short Game is, is alluding to here. And that I do also agree with. I, I think that guy's tweet is is not a big deal. And I think it's part of his job. But I also do understand Mr. Short Game's perspective of like, you know, from a business perspective, it might not be the best thing ever. But yeah, anyway, I think this is just I think this guy just saying how he feels. It's not something that he hasn't said before. And I think realistically, it's, it's probably going to be water off the back a little bit. But of course, I wanted to try to do my due diligence before making this video. And I sent messages out across the board. I got responses back from within the Rick Shields team. Um, I'm not going to say exactly who because you're going to find out. But uh, they they basically said, hey, Nate, thanks for reaching out. Like, da, 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 da. we're not going to comment at this time. But stay tuned. We are going to address the entire thing in our next Rick Shields golf show. So really this whole video is just a huge promo. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it is. Go, you're gonna wanna watch the next Rick Shields golf show. Whenever that podcast comes out, you're gonna watch it. Listen, I think they're obviously gonna address it. I think it's that's the business, that's fine. It's gonna create a bunch of buzz for, for Rick Shields podcast. I don't think I'd be surprised if they have really anything negative to say about it. They'll probably address it and be like, it's not true. And like, you know, there's no bad blood and Rick will probably be like, yeah, I'm not firing guy. And I don't really care that he said that likely what's going to happen. And then it's just going to create more buzz for the podcast. I'm making this video. That's going to create more buzz. It's just, it's interesting stuff. But from my perspective, listen, when I get to just not be the stirrer of the pot and I just get to sit back and watch this happen and comment on it. I mean, that's just happy days for me. That's just, I'm just creating inter interesting and entertaining content for the people, which is what I do here. And things are just unfolding in front of me. So you better believe that the moment that Rick Shields podcast drops, your boy is going to be on here in a lickety split second to react to whatever they have to say about this video because it's definitely going to be interesting. But yeah, that's it. That's the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Woo!